Yo, what are you all saying? Hope you're all good. My name is Arbiz. If you're new to the channel, we're all about cars and bikes over here. We do car meets, bike meets, ride outs, car reviews, bike reviews, all of that good stuff. Anything to do with cars and bikes, we do it over here. If you want to come along with any of the content, that doesn't make any sense. If you want to follow along with any of the content, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you click the bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I try to upload twice a week, we'll have some good juicy content on, uh, coming on. If you're not new to the channel, you know I did two videos on my Grom. One of them was taking it apart and one of them was starting to paint it. That was like two months ago, so yeah. Not much has happened to the bike since really, he's been collecting pollen and cobweb. But that's about to change because we got some parts. Obviously the corona thing has slowed down all the postage stuff. Lucky with that, I think I waited like two months for these parts to come. But today we are gonna get on with our stuff because we have a rear disc, we have an air intake, we have a kit of sprockets, chain, another brake disc, brake pads, Loctite, and a spark plug. Today we're gonna be installing all of those parts and hopefully, 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 get the bike started and start having it look like a bike again because it's been a while since it looked like an actual bike today. I think we're gonna start with something nice and easy, which is the air filter. Should be pretty simple. I mean, you take off the air box cover, put the new air filter in and you're pretty much done. So whilst the fairings are off, I might as well get that done. Let's get into that now. All right, for those of you that don't know, this is my 2017 Honda Grom. For the air filter, really easy to get into. The air box is just there. Uh, you want to take the fairings off to make it easy. I'm sure you can do this without taking the fairings off. I would rather just take the fairings off because it's just so much easier to do it. Uh, literally, four Phillips heads, take the bolts off and you're in there. To get the air box off, that's literally it. You just take off those four bolts. You do those two, other side, exactly the same thing. Two again, done. All right, once you get the screws off, just put, oh, fuck's sake, there's two more. All right, now all the bolts are off, it should come off. Oh, for fuck's sake, there's two more. Oh my God. Here we fucking go, finally. Jesus. Look at the air filter's held in with a fucking screw as well. Oh my god. Alright, so as you saw at the start, I was very confident thinking this is going to be very easy, which I always do. I always think the whole job is going to be easy and it's always a lot harder than I thought. I thought it was four screws because that's the, all the screws I can see because I didn't look properly obviously. And then I thought the air filter would just pop off. No, the air box has eight screws and the air filter itself has one screw holding it in. But look at how manky it is. This is why I needed a new air filter compared to how it's meant to look. Yeah. Long overdue. So now, literally reverse the process, put the air filter in, put the screw in, and then the eight screws around the air box, job done. All right, people, so it's been a little while since I last recorded because Laura needed a camera and she was recording or whatever, whatever, but we have progress. We have quite a lot of progress, actually. Let me show you. We have, so far, put changed the sprockets, put the new chain on, um, put new brake discs on, changed the pads, we put the wheel on, we've adjusted the chain, Change the front sprocket, cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna put this back on now. From the last video, you already know I got these panels on and uh, the, br the brake light back in, which is good. Handlebars are on now, the clocks are already on. We also got the headlight freshly painted and put on, and it looks sick. We need to put the chain cover back on. We need to change the front disc, tank cover back on, all the fairings back on. We have, we have some of the fairings drying. Got a few little bits of pieces there. Uzi's here to help me now as well. So, um, yeah, I think we're just gonna put the sprocket cover on yeah. now. And we're gonna put the exhaust back on as well. So yeah, exhaust. Exhaust. So exhaust. You guys first start up after, what, three months? Something like that, man, yeah. yeah. And we need to get those plastics quickly finished as well, so, yeah. So, front sprocket cover, for those of you that know, don't know, literally, 10 mil bolt here, you kind of just, Fish it back in to this space. It'll be easier if the if the what you call it rear so are still off. There, you bang it in. You got one one bolt here. They don't need to be tight. They're just tightened down plastic, which is not a problem. 
that will do. And yeah, that's it. Sprocket cover's on, chain is adjusted, everything's good. Only issue right now we have, that's definitely gonna need to be sorted before we go back out riding. All right, job number one is to get the bike off the floor, the front of the bike. I don't know, this, this front stand I have is pretty shit and I don't really know how to use it, but we're gonna try it anyways. And Let's see what happens. No, not all the way. Just no, get your out on the way. A bit. Hmm. Then. No, get your on the way. I lift it. Look, there you go. Oh, come on, you motherfucker. Come on, bring it down. Slowly. Slow, 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 slow. Oh, uh, move the kickstand. As you can see, pretty dodgy setup, um, but we're gonna make it work. Um, to change the discs, you got four 10 mil volts. New brake disc, obviously the ABS. Um, these have a rotational direction as well, so I need to keep that in mind. Memory card filled up, don't know what happened. Um, we cleared it up and now we've got space, but by the time we realized, we already had the disc on and we already put the wheel on, so it should be all right, isn't it? So the wheel's on, front disc is on, onto the exhaust. Nice, all right. Oh, That's it. All right, I know it's been a few days. Well, you actually don't know it's been a few days, but if you follow me on Instagram, you know it's been a few days since I've done anything to the bike because it's already finished and I've been riding it already. But yeah, um, anyway, everything is done now. The bike's completely finished. Everything's back together. All the servicing is done. So let's get over it. So obviously the paint work, so you should get off. I think it's pretty decent. You're just flexing. I know you got on the bike on purpose. No, I didn't think you were going to film the bike. I thought you were going to be talking thing. So you can <laughs> cut that out. And you can catch it, I'll dash it on the floor. Anyway, what actually ended up happening, um, as you can see, this bit here, this was meant to be in green, and this was meant to be in green. But I ran out of paint, so I just ended up putting it in black. And I think it actually looks pretty decent. With I actually the... think it doesn't. Personally, I think it needs a little bit more green on the side. Subscribe to my channel if you think the same. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, but instead I just went for the black with gold sparkle kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know if I'm a big fan of it. It's all right, it's, it's decent. The exhaust had a little bit of a polish on the end. The front, I couldn't really do. Um, still got the same old mud guard on. Needs a little bit of a touch up here. I just need a new one. But I'm really happy with how the headlight came out. It looks really good. The clocks are nice. The handlebars. Sweet! Uh, put a little Arbismo or sticker bomb on here. Pretty decent. Uh, swing arm came out nice. The chain and sprockets are blinging. I love it. So, yeah, not bad. I think the bike came out pretty good. Uh, you lot, let me know what you think of the bike. How does it look now? Um, do you like it? Do you not like it? To be honest, I don't care. Uh, the bike is being sold very, very soon. If you want to buy it, let me know. Uh, it's not going to go for that much, but hit my DM if you're interested. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Well, that's all. Video coming on that car very, very, very soon. So keep your eyes peeled. Getting back to the video. Yeah. He's going to try to do a burnout. That wasn't a burnout. I don't think it's going to work, Uzi. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, I don't care, but still let me know in the comments down below. And yeah. That's the bike. I hope you lot enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash the like button, leave a subscribe for more bike and car content. You know how we do around here. And yeah, I'll see you lot soon. Stay lit and I'll see you soon. Bye.